In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a help dialog box into your dashboards. Now, I've got one here in this dashboard, which is a body mass index calculator. And when I press the button that says learn more, a little help dialog pops up that kind of tells me a little bit more about the tool. Uh, it gives me some uh, information about the utility of this dashboard and so on and so forth. Now, if I click the button again, and it goes away. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to recommend is that the dialog that you use for your label or dialog box actually be typed into your Excel model. That way uh, it can be maintained and kept with your Excel model and if you have to refresh or change you know exactly where to find it. That being said, let's get started by adding a label component here. So I'm going to go to View, Component, and then I'm going to select Label pop that onto the canvas and I'm just going to size it to the size I think I need it. Double click on it, click on link to cell, I'll have a cell reference icon and then link to the particular cell that holds the dialog that I want in there. Press OK. OK, so that's part of it. Now in this particular example I've got a table in there too. So I've got this part of the dialog down. I'm going to go ahead and click on components again and then bring in a grid and what I'll do is I'll link that to my table or the table that's necessary okay and then go to appearance and I'll change that to 10 just so we can read it here and then I'll say size it to about the same size as the label perfect then just kind of bring in one more little component here which is a rectangle here just for aesthetics and then kind of wrap it around those two and then just kind of format the rectangle there okay so halfway there we've done the hard part now it's time for the easy bit now what we'll do is go to view object browser window that's going to show us all the components on this particular canvas now you'll notice there's a label grid and rectangle I'm going to hold down the control key while I select each one of those label grid rectangle and now I'm going to right click on them and hit group. Now I could have done that via the canvas too but there's way too many components here and it's a lot easier to just uh, work with them through the object browser. So now these three components are grouped. So the next question, how do I make them disappear and reappear? Well you do that using dynamic visibility. I'm going to double click on this group and you'll see here dynamic visibility section. So we got to set three things. First is the display status. That's going to be the cell where I'm going to use as a trigger cell. I'm going to use this cell right here. I'm going to use cell I3. Why cell I3? No particular reason. I think it's just an easy cell to remember and that's what I'm going to use. Cell I3. Okay. Display status key. I'm going to say the display status key is 1. That means if there's a 1 in I3, then this thing is visible. If, it's, if there's not a 1 in I3, then it's not visible. Why 1? No particular reason. Again, it could be anything, but 1 is just a very easy thing to remember. And then, of course, entry effect. I can have it fade in, grow in, or grow uh, across first and up. I'm going to go ahead and have it fade in. In effect duration, 0.05 kind of determines how slow it fades in. Okay, so that's set. Now all I gotta do is find a way to fill cell I3 with either a 0 or a 1. Well, I can do that by using a toggle button selector. So I'm gonna double click on the toggle button or basically kind of bring it onto the canvas. And then let's start configuring this double click on it the first thing I'm going to look at is labels let's just kind of look at it by clicking on the three dots here the label names are on and off well I don't really want the label names to be on and off if the particular label is off and the user has to turn it on I'm going to say call this learn more that way you have a button that says learn more now if it's on, you don't want it to say learn more, 
you kind of want it to say exit because you want to let the user know that we're going to be able to exit out of here. Okay, learn more and exit. And this will make sense as you see it work. Press OK. All right, so now source data. Now if I click on the ellipsis here, you'll see that off has a value of 0 while on has a value of 1. This is perfect because we, our dynamic visibility trigger is 1. So if it's on, that means it's going to be visible. If it's off, it'll have a 0 in there and it'll be false, not visible. Okay, so that's perfect. Now the only thing that we'll have to set here is the insert in property. I'm going to click on the cell reference icon and it's basically asking us where do we want to put this value of 0 or 1. I'm going to put it right here in I3 because that's where the dynamic trigger or dynamic visibility is reading off of. Alright, so now you see how it says exit here? There's something wrong here. It shouldn't be saying exit. So let's double click on here and look at behavior behavior will have a default options. The default selection is on. Well, we want the default selection to be off. That means that when this particular um, dashboard opens up, this particular dialog box should be gone. It should be off and the button should say learn more. Okay, so now I click on preview. No dialog box. Click on Learn More, dialog box, and exit. Perfect. And there you have it, the basics of how to build your own dialog box into your dashboards.